MX Linux 25 RC1. What's new and should you test it? MX Linux 25 RC1 is here, built on Debian 13 Trixie and packed with fixes and polish aimed at testers and early adopters. Today we'll walk through the headline changes, what they mean for users, and whether you should try the release candidate. MX Linux 25 Release Candidate 1 RC1 is now available for public testing. The distribution continues MX's approach of combining Debian-based packages with MX tooling and offers three main desktop choices, XFCE, KDE Plasma, and Fluxbox, plus Systemd and Sysfinit ISO variants for different users. This RC is intended for testing, not production. The devs want feedback, especially around the installer and encryption handling. What's new and important? Encryption fix. Systemd crypt setup added. The Systemd based ISOs now include Systemd crypt setup to address an issue with encrypted slash home partitions. If you use disk encryption, this is one of the primary fixes to test in the RC. Kernel choices. Standard editions ship with the long-term Linux 6.12 LTS kernel, while AHS Advanced Hardware Support editions offer a Liquorex-flavored 6.15 kernel for newer hardware. This gives testers an option between maximum stability and newer hardware support. Desktop and theming updates. New Conky configurations with 12 hours, 24 hour locale aware toggle, and refreshed themes, MXEs and MX Matcha, improve out-of-the-box polish and visual consistency across editions. Tooling and utilities improvements. Several MX tools were improved. The live kernel updater now filters out memtest from kernel options. Live USB maker's update mode was fixed. MX updater had fixes to make automatic updates behave correctly and the NVIDIA installer DDM-MX got a fallback mode and improved Wayland compatibility. These changes aim to make maintenance and installation smoother for users. Installer. Grub and hardware fixes. The RC contains a workaround for a grub display issue affecting older Intel IV slash Sandy Bridge hardware. Updates to the installer's replacer function and various bug fixes across MX tools, all targeted at improving the release's reliability. Desktop specific tweaks XFCE gets an updated Whisker menu settings format, KDE Plasma gets additional root slash service actions in Dolphin, Fluxbox receives toolbar slash style adjustments and switches Audacious in as the default audio player. Also, TLP was removed in favor of Power Profiles Daemon to address a power widget issue. Why this matters. For testers and daily drivers, these updates mean better handling of encrypted homes, more reliable update and install flows, and improved hardware support options. The split between LTS and Licrix kernels is useful. Pick the LTS edition for conservative stability or the AHS edition if you need newer kernel support for recent hardware. How to test. Download the RC ISOs from the official MX Linux announcement page, try them in a VM or on a spare USB stick. The ISOs include a live environment and live USB maker. The devs specifically asked testers to exercise the installer, ext4 and butterfs flows, encrypted slash home scenarios, and report any tool failures via the MX forums or feedback threads. Remember, RCs are for testing, not for production machines. If you liked this breakdown, hit like and subscribe for distro news and deep dive tests. If you test MX25 RC1, drop notes in the MX forums or link your issue reports below. Community feedback helps iron out the final release. Links to the official announcement and feedback threads are in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.